In this video, a voiceover artist who's kind of finding marketing a little bit of a challenge for his voiceover business, uh, in this video, he kind of has this epiphany, and that's what I want to share with you. He has this, oh, this aha moment uh, during our conversation. And um, I want you to see this because I think it's going to be inspiring for you and your voiceover business by thinking of marketing a little bit differently. When you approach it from a different angle, uh, it could be fun but mostly it could be easy. It's not that complicated when you do it a particular way. And um, that's really what I, what I want you to see in this, in this video. Uh, it could also, uh, marketing the right way can also attract ideal clients. And that means the type of clients that you want to work with. I'm Lenny B, voiceover audio engineer. Let me show you how you can make your voiceover dreams a reality. So uh, maybe a, a, a challenge, something you've run into then uh, yes. with, with that said. So, so, and I've tried some other things. In fact, right now I'm doing an audio book, which isn't really my prefer preferred form of narration. Um, I, I got asked to do this and uh, it's probably the toughest read I could ever do. It's written by an Italian academic polymath and almost and, and I'm a reasonably intelligent guy and I have a reasonable experience around the world, but I find myself <clears throat> between English, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, German, French, and Latin and Romanian. I've gotten, there are eight languages in the book so far. Wow. Uh, and the way some of the sentences are written, which have been as long as 80 words. So figure out where to take a breath in an 80 word sentence. Wow. Um, <clears throat> a free diver would have trouble with that. Uh, I've, I, it's been a, it's been a challenge. It's a challenging sure. struggle, sure. but, but I'm learning from that. And so that's fine. And <clears throat> I don't intend to do another one. And I've done a couple of other I did a big a project for a big industrial company. I did a project for a, a French agriculture company. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so I'm doing some cool stuff, but I need to do a lot more of it. And that's where, that's where my struggle is at this stage. Recognizing that for all intent and purpose, yeah, I'm four months in, right? Okay. I am a four month professional voice actor. So you started taking gigs and putting yourself out there for the world to hire if they're looking for you four months ago. Yes. That's pretty yes. good that you're so, so, and you're, you're, you have, um, Let's see, would you call it a steady flow of work? Would you call it a, a trickle? Are you just, you're getting some interest? Where are you as far as, are they coming to you? Or are you uh, seeking them out and making the connections? It's primarily the latter, not the former. <clears throat> it is not a steady stream of work yet. And I'm They're coming to you. That I can, right. I don't, have, I don't have people. So actually about two weeks ago, a producer did reach out to me and asked me, if I would audition for a spot, which I did. And I returned it that evening, in fact. And he said, this is great. Thank you. I'll get back to you. I haven't heard back from him yet, but maybe they're going to go with me and maybe not. I'm just grateful that he reached out. Sure. Um, You're on the radar. Reminded, so it's yeah, I'm cool on the that, radar. Yeah. And, and it reminds me that online casting sites, pay to play, is it, if you want to be slang about it. Um, I think it's a great way to begin. And I think it's a great way to supplement or augment a solid client base. Right. But to you, but to use it as a sole and supplementary form of, uh, of your voice acting income, I do not think that's a good strategy. Right. Um, and I now I now have a complete list of reasons why I think that's just not a good strategy, and probably the reason why half the people in the business don't make it or don't make enough money to put in your hat is right. is is because of that. So it gets to exactly what you talk about in the modern synergy synergy marketing roadmap, which is you have to figure out how to authentically display yourself to the world and have people come to you yes and that is where i am that's the stage i'm at and i'm and i'm still working on it let me let me give you an analogy because i think it really clarifies this um what you just said it's, it's fantastic and all you have to do is look uh look past uh in the past five six decades in the film industry 
So I remember I could I could see watching the classic movie channel with my dad and and they would go you know uh, I'd be watching this and they would go and then talk about this one actor and then they go then he signed with MGM Studios for ten years and promised them fifteen <laughs> films right you know it used to be like that for you would sign with an agency and you'd say they're gonna make they're gonna pay you this much money and the, you're under their thumb for this long right but um, yeah. nowadays. Uh, that was the way it used to be done. That was kind of just the the old traditional way of doing things. And I think it illustrates well how you want to get to now. Now, every actor is there. They've got their own team. It's really like they're their own brand. They're their own everything. They could choose what to do, what not to do, what scripts to take, what not to audition for. Once they reach a particular level, they're their own marketing studio. You know what I mean? They, they right. Everybody is independent. But what that means is you have to create your own brand and you have to be, oh, you know, if somebody were to have a film and say, oh my God, you know who would be great for this based on what I like and know about them, this actor, you know, let's contact their people. It used to be, let's call MGM and see if they'd be open to looking at the script. You know what I mean? You used to have to go to the company, yeah. Yeah. but everybody is their own independent product. And that's really what you're, you're doing now. So what is your brand? And is, is do you have a portfolio for people to see? Uh, can they read more about you? Can they find out who you are, what your uh, personality is like? Can they uh, are they, can they go and say um, who are the testimonials? Can I talk? To, can I see what people are saying about what's their Yelp review? What's their Google reviews? Right, all those right. things are the marketing pieces that you have power and you have the control over. But I think right. that analogy from you know the way it used to work even in the old days in the mus- uh, music and uh, it was like that too. Um, sure. And the movie business, the, you, you used to be working for a uh, a, a film studio, and now it, because they had the cameras, they had all the stuff, and now we've got all the stuff. We've got mics in our bedrooms, right. we've got studios in our uh, in our closets, you know. And so it's a it's it's an independent, but you have all the control. But you've got to make the roadmap. That's and I think that's kind of what you're talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about, and that's um, exactly what I'm realizing is such a challenge because <clears throat> in my situation, if I were 22 years old, right, and I'm like, and I'm like, I don't know anything. Uh, I don't have any basis for comparison. I have this, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately as the case may be, long and grizzled career right. where I come in and I've got all the resources of here's the HR team and here's the finance team and right. here are all your people in various functions. Here's all your ops people and your sales and marketing people and your legal team and all this stuff. And it's like you rely on all your resources. And now I realize, oh, that's me now. Right. All of those you're, you're all that. Things, right. That's me. I'm going to well, consult with my F and A team. Well, okay. <laughs> right. Well, here's the thing. You know, I I don't think it it doesn't have to be that complicated. And so I get it because you know how the um, internal workings of a successful company and the departments work together and all and what it takes to have a team. And you know, first of all, you're much smaller than. Uh, uh, um, uh, your, your the inner workings of your business can be much more simple and much smaller, even still to be successful. But let me let me see if I can give you some ammunition uh, and um, um, and ideas and content. And I think you know this. I'm just going to I'm going to outline it for you and kind of establish it because I think this is where you're at. And you tell me. Um, so what we want to do is crank up the amount of people that are just coming to you. They're reaching out to you via your email, via your website, uh, a comment on one of your videos. If you're posting as you do, you want people just direct connects that go, hey, I love what you're doing. Can we talk? Can I send you a script? You know, how do we how do we have a discovery call to see if you may be good for my product project? Yes. And and that's Spot that's on. OK. So that's so what you have to do then uh, is we have to begin making more content that tells that story. And, and, um, this is, it's always, it's always weird to kind of say this, but I'll, I'll give you a, a fantastic example. You came to me because of my YouTube videos, correct? I mean, correct. that's exactly that's, how that's you exactly found, right. it's exactly that's exactly how, how you found you. me. My, uh, you didn't go through, uh, voices. Uh, you didn't go through uh, voiceengineer.com. Find your next voiceover engineer. <laughs> there, there isn't that, right? You came to me because, and I'll tell you why. And I think you know all of this stuff, but I want to. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, re, just kind of 
put some new life into this whole concept and I want to inspire you because my videos, I, sometimes I, I'm hesitant to say this, but I'm not because it's all marketing and I'm, it's not, it's not a cheesy car salesman thing. It's not. My videos are not educational. They're not anything but marketing pieces. And I, I hope that doesn't disappoint some people but and, and or feel I, you shouldn't feel like you're tricked because they do what they say they, they're going to do. And that's the beauty of the whole thing. Every single one of the videos that I create teaches you about me. It illustrates my skill. It teaches you something. You're get you're, you're leaving my um, video by going, oh, oh, cool. I didn't know that before. So it, it's, it's instructional. Okay. There's a call to action. I'm driving you to go somewhere to contact me if you will, if you think that we could work together, okay? And there's also um, my personality. I'm definitely interjecting who I am. And hey, uh, I, you feel like when when you and I discussed and met for the first time on a video call or we spoke on the phone, you kind of felt like you know me already, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Our relationship started before we really met on the phone or whatever it was. Our relationship started when you were watching my videos. And so it's important to exude my personality. And I think also a testimonial reference. And these, this, all this information is in the marketing course. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just yeah. kind of illustrating and maybe expanding on a little bit. But uh, a testimonial reference is really, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cue in the videos. It's not blatant, but it's a cue that says, oh, some people also, also other people come to Lenny, they hire him to do what he does and he's helping him and they're happy. <laughs> it's a, it's a <laughs> testimonial basically, but it's a reference. I say, Hey, you know, you'll, you'll notice in my videos. Um, I, I include this on purpose because I want you to know that this happens. I say, Oh, I'm uh, one of my clients or this person from Canada just sent me a thing and he wanted to help fix his audio because he thought it sounded this way and he wants it this way. So here's how I helped him. That's, that's, I'm just showing you, I'm taking mm-hmm. you by the hand and say, Hey, look, I make these fixes for people and they're happy and this is a service that I sell. It's just a reference. So when so 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 now now let's let's put that in terms of your product. My product is uh, training courses and and those presets and 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 things like that. Your product is voiceover. You are trying to connect people that have a synergy with what you do. So we've talked about how you know what your specialty is, where your comfort zone is, and the type of things you want to do. So now we need to think about all the things. So and so here it is. Um, I think this is this is this is a big help. I want you to identify the stuff that you're into that you love doing. What are you were saying? The books this this polymath. It was way too complicated. Okay, what's the book that you just read that you're like, man, that's so good. I'm going to tell my buddy about this book, or I know somebody. You know, what did you just recently read, or what what um, discovery uh, narration, Discovery Channel uh, narration did you just watch? What what stuff are you into? What do you dig? What do you love to do? Give me just one example. Well, I'll give you an example of. Let me riff on this because this is actually really important. Okay. <clears throat> I have some videos online, many of which have gotten, um, you know, a few views, but not really. Okay. I have one video online, which is doing relatively, which is doing much, much better than all the rest. Okay. And it's an eight minute short travel documentary on the city of Ronda in the province of Andalusia in Southern uh-huh. Spain. And the reason it, I think, is doing better is because it's rich visuals, it tells a story, and I did a voiceover, and I do the voiceover on it. And there's voiceover on my, my demos, and then there's, there's videos where I'm just talking about stuff. Nobody really knows me, so it's not like, you know, people are w- watching this like, wow, there's the guy from X-Men. You know, it's like, no. <laughs> right. But, but this one video has done a lot better. And what it, what I did that as a way of saying, what, what piques people's interests sure. that also interests me? What do I want to show people yes. and then have people go, Oh, that's yes. cool. Yes. So to that point, I'm going to do some more of these. And the very next one I'm going to do is about guitar tone woods. Cool. Because yes. we've talked about this a little bit, you know, I like guitars. Um, and uh, 
I got one for sale right now. In fact, <laughs> I don't need them all. So, all right, all right. Um, let me let me let me take that and just uh, amplify right. that just a little bit. So, right. I know that's one of the things that you're interested in. You're passionate about, and yes, yeah. you are correct. Um, you know, um, I believe you're correct because the visuals of the location you you did a, uh, the travel video you did. And also, I can guarantee you there's people that are also interested in that location and traveling and they're watching that, but not people looking for a voiceover. And that's okay. That's, that's actually right. one of, right. sometimes that, that tends to maybe turn some people off, go like, well, it, that's not who I'm attracting. BS. You, you, what you want to do is, is create a brand for yourself that you're someone right. that has a great voice on all these interests. And the more right. people you get looking at you, the bigger your brand becomes. And the bigger your right. brand becomes, the higher your SEO becomes online. And the higher yeah. that is, I mean, it's, that's all, it, it's, it's creating an audience. And, um, so that's important. So I love the idea with the woods. So here's what I want you to do though. I need you to okay. dumb it down. I need you to, and this is something that happens a lot of the time when people are too close to something, and I'll give you an example. You know guitars. You own several guitars. I know you do. We've talked about this stuff before because we're both, uh, you know, the six-string aficionados and have the sickness of yes. buying gear. But I want you to, um, you really have to speak. You have to pay, think about an avatar. You have to think about a person who is just going to buy their first guitar and how and what they know about tone and guitar woods. And this, this, what, what the beauty of this is, it really gives you more content and it's easy for you because you know all about this stuff. So, uh, if you're going to do, so right now you, I know you've got an idea of doing a, a, a documentary type of video on the tone and its effect on the sound for guitars. Cool. Let's, let's, would that be a good kind of a general description of what you were thinking? Maybe tell me. Yes. However, and maybe this is to your point. Um, when I did this video on Spain, uh, I didn't get to, the language was rich, but the, there was nothing technical uh, really about it. It was more like somebody could watch that and go, oh, that looks like a cool place. I think I'll go there. The same thing in this case is I don't, I don't want to get into, I don't want to talk about things like the frequency of tone woods, right? I yeah. don't, I don't want to talk like the, the guy who owns yeah, Santa no. Cruz guitars no. or Taylor and El Cajon, you yeah. know, talks about, yeah. I just want to talk about the, the, the richness of tone and how different that might be with maple versus mahogany. Right. And I'll, I'll even go, I agree a hundred percent and it should be based on your opinion and if you say to me the mahogany has a, it's a little bit quieter but it just seems like it has a more warmth sound whatever you say and however you describe it is correct in your opinion so you could say whatever you want there's no rules you don't have to worry about any of that stuff what you really need to do is give part of yourself here's what i experienced first bought this particular guitar and i really liked it but then i heard what you know this one my, my point is you are correct dumb it down it should be simple it should be accessible but the key is you want to make sure that you are translating the passion that you have but i say um we used to we used to talk about this in in uh, radio it's one break one topic and in your case it's one video one topic if you mm -hmm. go into a laundry list you're going to lose people uh and you're also going to lose the seo what I would do is instead of say, thinking about, all right, this video, I'm going to have all these parts. I'm going to put all this stuff together. Let me write the, the, it first. I, I don't, I think you're, 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 um, you're missing a lot of opportunity when you do it. The first thing I, I tell your story and tell your experience with it. And I think the more, um, um, authentic you could be about your expression and about your expectation and about your, what you found out and what you realized and what you heard and and why you like this guitar and and it's and, and I'm thinking this wood is this way what I want is you to start from the beginning and you, and you say you know uh let me I'm trying to illustrate this for you so if, if you have let's say you bought four guitars and they're all different types of wood let's say that was your story and you're going to talk about the tones in each one of these woods and how it sounds different the first I would break that down into um, explaining, you know, that you're a guitar aficionado. You you ended up buying a bunch, and before I knew the uh, effect that the type of wood has on the tone, I started with this guitar, and it sounds this way. And and then you could say, you know, in the next video, I'm going to talk about my second guitar that I got. But that's just one, and it would so you so it's that name of that guitar, that type of wood, and what you think it sounds like. 
I'm, I'm illustrating this really rough just to give you an idea, but that is going to stand. So that name of that guitar, that type of wood is going to resonate with SEO and people that are interested in finding out about that are going to find it. But if you had put all of them uh, and all the different types of guitars, it's got a list. Nothing is going to stop. You, you need to specialize. You know what I mean? You focus. I think you have to zoom in on this whole story and break them into different videos. And, but they all have to do the same thing. So, uh, one of the things, the big things that we're missing, and I don't know if you've done this before, and maybe you did for your travel video, you know, you start by saying, hi, my name is Todd. I am a, a voiceover artist. And one of the things that I'm also very interested in is guitars. I love guitars and people come to me and hire me uh, to do voiceovers. And I've always dreamed of doing uh, a, a, a narrative piece on guitars. It's one of my other passions. So I just wanted to share with you, uh, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, yes, I'm in the studio, but I also like to pick up a guitar every once in a while. The first guitar, and then you start about the tone and you talk about this. And at the end you say, Hey, uh, by the way, um, I hope you learned a little bit about guitar. Be honest, be totally yeah. uh, this yeah. video. I hope you learned a little bit about the guitar and the tone. I wanted to share this because I freaking love this guitar. I could play it all the time and I love the vibe and the tone. So I wanted to share that with you. But also I want you to know that, um, if you have, um, a voiceover or a script or a need for voiceover on things like guitar travel, I, I would do this way on things like travel, business, uh, different languages or guitar. Cause you could obviously, this is one of the things I love. Send me a script and I'll send you back uh, uh, a sample of what the script could sound like. And this is, I agree, oh, eight oh, minutes, yeah, three yeah. minutes, five minutes. And by the way, the links in the description, and uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do some more videos on this stuff because I've got uh, several other guitars and uh, subscribe if, if you like kind of guitars and you're, you're going to see more of this stuff too. Just be, be a host at a party. That's really, be genuine. You know, what, what this is not all this, this YouTube is, it's just such an opportunity to have your front door of your office. It, it's, this is an opportunity to have the front door of your office, your business in everyone's pockets. That's all that, because it's a phone, right? People are searching yeah. for stuff and they're gonna come across, think about it that way. All this yeah. is, is an opportunity for you to introduce yourself on a topic that you love, that you wanna do more projects on, and right. share, and share who you are. And it's, um, you know, it took me a long time to kind of develop that, but look, in, yeah. look inward. The more genuine you could be, the more, hey, I'm just showing you what I love. This guitar, I had to save up a couple months for this bad boy, but look, she's beautiful, isn't she? Look at that finish. But the tone is different. I'm going to play it for you in a second, but we're going to talk about the tone on the wood. Just do your thing. Yes. Emote. Be completely honest, and I think that's what connects with people. Now you're going to have a guitar fan, you'll have a voiceover fan, and a Todd fan, because you know, you'll know you have people that just like you for you, too. That's that's how you build an audience. That's so interesting. That is That is... That is different than I was thinking about it. That's more, um, that's more intimate. That's more personal. And that, um, displays or portrays more than just my voice. Way more. Because, right? Because, because in the travel video, the travel video was really just a vehicle from in my head that was really just a vehicle for displaying my voice. And I got a lot of, I got a lot of good compliments on my voice. Sure. So check that box. But what you're describing is more than Todd's voice. It's Todd yeah. with a capital T. I would even go as far as saying, Hey, by the way, you know, I'm a voiceover artist. And one of the, <laughs> the reasons, one of the things I would, why not do this? You're open, you're vulnerable, open yourself up, say, Hey, one of the things I love to do is voiceover. So I'm marketing and I'm getting out there the word that I do. So I thought, Hey, what a great way to not only illustrate what my voice sounds like, but feature it on some of the videos and things that I like personally. And uh, boy, if you had a guitar video production that you need a voiceover for, I'm your guy. Cause I love guitars. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. Oh, Just yeah. say it, say what, yeah. be real. Yeah. Be, there's, there's no, um, there's no, harm in opening opening this up to exactly what it is is there no there's connects. absolutely there's no there's no harm to doing that and in fact it gets me thinking and as i'm writing notes here <clears throat> it makes me realize there are a number of topics yes about which i can create that kind of content based on a true passion obviously guitars is one of them right high-end spirits is another one right we talked about right <laughs> right we talked you. about yeah. spirits and i got yeah. you know i 
I'm not a I'm not a big drinker, but I do like high end spirits, just in small quantities. So me, I can talk about that, and I've got several topics like that that I can talk. And and then, and so look at look at the two things that this takes care of. If you were to get work voiceover work on the subject of guitars, I think you'd be in. You'd love that, right? That'd be something you'd want to yeah, talk about. Sure, absolutely. If you got voiceover work on the subject of high end spirits. No matter what it is, it's like, hey, those are the brands, those are the companies, that's the stuff you have a personal knowledge of, you have a genuine um, emotional excitement and interest in, and right. that's the synergy I'm talking about, modern synergy marketing. If somebody sees you are a voiceover artist and you have a, a, an authentic knowledge and passion and interest a legit interest in a subject, boy, you're the guy I want to hire because you're going to speak differently than somebody that I just like their voice but has no idea, has never picked up a guitar, has never had a this high in spirit because you know at a at a resort or something and experienced the difference. It doesn't know the difference. You know what I mean? You are the right. you're the guy I want to be the face of my product. You're the guy I want to be voicing my um, uh, 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 presentation or whatever it is because you are a better face for my company, not just the product, not just the voice that matches what I'm looking for, but you, you have the, you've got the soul connection. It's the, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the legit interest in what you're talking about. It's the passion. That's, that's right, it. Right. I think it's magnetic. Right, right. The passion is magnetic. Passion is magnetic. And we all, and we know that <clears throat> most people trying to find a, a, a voiceover artist for any given project wants somebody who as much as anything can create connectivity with right. the listener, right? right? If you can't create connectivity, but you can do everything else well, you know, uh, tone and, and tempo and pacing and things like that, but you can't connect, you're probably not a great fit. If you can connect, the other things will probably come by default. Of course. And you'll be good for that fit. But the connectivity, the connectivity often comes with passion. And it's funny because you know, you go to, you, you spend time with professional VO people and they say, you know, you got to connect with the script. Well, that's great, but <clears throat> it's easy to connect with scripts when you really care about them. Right. If you don't care no. about them, it's, yeah. it's so hard. I say, don't do it. I mean, I, I know that's really hard for somebody that's just starting. That's like, I got to make some money at this because, uh, you know, I, I, I want to follow this dream that I have, but how do I do it? That's that's a pitfall. People try to do everything. But if that's, if you're not feeling the script, there's yeah, somebody else yeah. that will do it way better than you that is feeling a absolutely, that script. Absolutely. It, well, somebody else who feels, who feels it more and will do a right. better job right. and, <clears throat> um, I have a conscience too, right? I, I get, there, there are ads that come through, there are um, scripts that come through and uh, I see them just on online sites. It's not like they reached out to me specifically. Sure. I can't do them. It's stuff I don't, I don't believe in. I, I right. just, it's not, it doesn't fit my ethos. It doesn't fit my, 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 my politics or whatever. I just can't do it. So I, I don't, I don't try. And I know that's hard because I know you want to do stuff, right. but I, earn a lot of stuff down, I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway because I'm just not that great a fit. And I think that's a good idea. And you you, you never know. I never burn bridges. I mean, this is just a business thing. I always politely decline. Hey, I don't think we're yep. the best fit. I maybe uh, yep. here's, I know of a couple people, you know, always, always uh, plug your friends and that's how you grow your network is do favors for people. You right. may want to call, call this guy. He's a friend of mine. I think he may be able to do, or he may know somebody, uh, but I'm, right. I, uh, you politely right. decline. I'm going to pass on this. Thank you for the opportunity. Keep me in mind right. for, for future stuff, please. And, right. uh, and then that's all, that's all you can do. But yeah, I, I strongly agree with, with passing on stuff. It's hard in the beginning because you want to do everything for everybody. So let me ask you this. Um, I love I'm just kind of recapping so far what, what we've talked about, because I think these are the strong things that I want you to work on um, right. that is going right. to help get you to that next step. And, and I think one of the big ones is understanding and using the fact that your cameras, your lighting and flick, flipping on the record switch in front of your um, a camera here is bringing the front door of your business into people's pockets. And I think that's a really cool analogy because, and what you need to do is just have those first meetings. If somebody were to say, hey, they knocked on, they knocked on their business door. I mean, we're thinking analog days here. It's just, it's true. They say, <laughs> right, oh, right. What, what is this place? What do, what do you do? Oh, I actually uh, create these things and I talk about this stuff. This is what I'm generally interested in. 
Um, and these, this is the stuff that, that fits well with me. I'm a voiceover artist. If you've got a script, these are the things that I can help you with. That, and that, and here's a bigger, also a big mistake people make. They do that in one video, and then they think the next video, you can never assume somebody watched any of your other videos. You have to reset in every single one, and it, it's, yeah. it'll feel monotonous, and I know that I do it. When I do it, it, it does. Hey, I'm Lenny B., voiceover audio engineer. I help people make a better, stronger connection yeah. with their audience. If I, I say that over and over, and you have to say it over and over. Hit your brand, and you discuss because right. you always have to assume that people are watching it for the very first time, and they are, They're, you know, and you don't want to miss that marketing opportunity. So, But I think finding the stuff that you're interested in, one video, one topic, don't go too deep, mass appeal, reset, and understand that you can just right. share yourself. Uh, and this is what I, this is how I would play this out. If you are having a little bit of success of people coming to you with the ideal projects and you want to increase that, what you do is you do the project that you like. And then until you get another one, you make another marketing video. And then if the next day you still don't get something, you make another marketing video. And so it's marketing videos until that ratio will change. But you, if you stay true to making marketing videos, and when I say marketing videos, I'm sharing your interests, expressing all those things we talked about, a call to action, introducing your brand, making a connection, teaching somebody something. You know, uh, if I watched your initial video about the guitar in the woods I'm, I'm i'm learning something whatever you've discovered share that with me and then i'm learning something if i'm searching that but i'm also it's elevating your brand and i know that you're well spoken on a particular subject and you're doing something that you love to do and and now i mean it's an example they're they're demos all of them are it's a it's a demo you every video you make is a demo on youtube you, how many demos yeah. do you have Hun hundreds you know i've got 40 something <laughs> demos it's really what that is <laughs> Right on my on on YouTube, right. and you could track what it's it's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, it, it, you're right. It is. It is a demo, and every demo is a little bit different because every video is a little bit different. So, if people want to get a <clears throat> a fully fleshed out view, a 360 degree view of who you are as an artist in whatever your area, the more video, the more demos you have out there, the more chance right. they have to be able to see that. Yeah, so play it out. Play it out in, in a, a year from now. If somebody has becomes a fan or they've watched you for a certain thing and they go, who do you, who, are you, who did you, what is this? What are you watching? Oh, this, this is Todd. He's a VO guy, but he loves spirits and he's got a bunch of guitars and uh, he does voiceovers for travel videos and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you've, you've told people who you are, you know, they're, yeah. they're, they're yeah. telling your brand, but how did they know? You told them, you taught them who right. you are. Right. So right. What, what you've done with the marketing course and what you've followed along is, is you've realized that, okay, first of all, I have to figure out who I am. I have to right. find out what my right. bio is and what I'm going after. And then what you do is you just create these pieces. And what a beautiful world it is to where you could put demos out there that anybody in the world could see. And I mean, just after you do this for a little while, I, I'm constantly shocked it's like you, a lot of your views in this past week came from Canada or Spain or, you know, Uber Amagao in Germany. And, you know, it's just like all these crazy places. Like, wow. And I get these people and contact me from all over the world. It's beautiful. How, when, when, when else in history have, has anybody had that? You know what I mean? Your, the front door of your business is everywhere. Right. Never with the possible exception of a few people in the, 20th century and beyond who were really successful in the film industry right who could uh, with the right. exception of folks like that the rest of us couldn't have done it if we wanted to until now yes you're exactly right the idea of getting discovered oh well he was just you, you've heard that in like some of the, the you know the the uh when somebody will do a biopic on a, a performer or something. And then luckily the stars aligned and he was discovered in 1975 when his, and then his first album came out. You can get, you are discovered. You have the power to be discovered, but what story are you going to tell? What are they going to discover? That's what you have to figure out first, but anybody could be discovered and you don't need to be world famous to have enough clients coming to you. You know, you don't have to have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You just need a couple thousand of subscribers that are interested in what you're doing to get a, set, a steady stream. And it grows. If, if you have two videos this week and you have three videos next week and you have 
four videos the following week, that increases logarithmic of viewership mm -hmm. and views that you're getting. Mm -hmm. So you just, if you keep, every day you don't have a client, make a marketing video. And and you just, if, as long as you keep doing that, that, um, oops, I, I hit the mic there. As long as you keep doing that, that ratio will eventually change. You'll get to the point to where you're like, oh, I, I just, I'm doing, I have all these, uh, I have all these requests. I just don't have time to do more videos. And then you could start raising your price. You could name your own yeah. price. I mean, we're talking about maybe years in the future. It yeah. takes time, but no one can stop you. Yes, it takes time, but do yeah. you could do it. That would be a really nice problem to have. I mean, I'd like to have that problem. Um, so I love this approach. I love this approach. And I was thinking just the other day that I hadn't made a video for a while. And I haven't been making... I haven't been making nearly enough videos, nor have I really f just now when I'm hearing it for the first time, I need to embrace what you just said about how to create the video, how to create content that resonates in just the right way. And then to build on that boom, 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 boom. It's like a boxer in the ring. You don't throw one punch and then just step back and say, I'm waiting right. now. You, you got to keep going. Yes. So uh, that's, this is incredibly helpful. And it's also, it's also um, as a voiceover artist, and you, you'll know this yourself, and I think you need to pick and choose what you want to do. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll, give, I'll give you a tip. You know, when I make a video, I have a, an extra challenge because my business, yes, it's the marketing. I do much more than just an audio engineer. But when I'm talking about audio engineering and I'm giving somebody a tip in one of my video marketing pieces... Um, mm -hmm. when, when I say marketing pieces, just drawing more potential clients to me. But as when I teach people, it has to sound good because I'm selling better audio. So right. that has to be right. one of the main focuses right. on what I do. Right. However, in a situation like this, you know, this is a raw recording. Like for right now, <laughs> it's it's weird. We're we're kind of in the in the matrix. I don't know. What, I don't know how you would call this. I mean what we're doing right now is also a marketing video that I want to post this to share with people sure. because I'm advertising. I, I want to promote my marketing course to help more people because I love talking about marketing and I want you to learn more about marketing and I want you to be successful because we have a synergy together. It's exactly the same thing of all this, what we're talking about yeah. right now. But yeah. uh, my point is though, when you do videos and you need to get more marketing content out there, there is a quick, Hey, let me tell you about something, um, sharing yourself. And that might be a, turn on the camera, go, lighting isn't perfect, sound isn't perfect, but you could always n cut in perfect audio later and you could always have that quality on top. You have to constantly gauge. Uh, I love the fact that you went with, uh, it, this isn't what this wasn't your number one camera, but you you got this camera and you, you pushed forward and it's it looks great. I think your camera looks great. You've got different setups to where you could flip it on right away because just like everything, technology is also a really good excuse to go, oh, I need to fix this before I could put a video out. There's a constant, constant, I push all the time. I wish I was 10 pounds lighter before I flip this camera on. <laughs> you, it's funny, right? You think that's not real. That's to these, I can't, I can't, you know, oh man, I should have put a different shirt on. This is so tight right now up here. I, I can't really inhale all the way. Yeah. Everybody yeah. goes I'm, through that. My point is, yeah. it's a great excuse to say, oh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hit the gym for a little while, and then I'll start putting videos out because it's scary. You have to share yourself. It yeah. works yeah. though. When you share yourself, it works. When you put yourself on yeah. camera, and you put yourself out there. So there's a constant, constant balance, and you're fighting that voice in in your head. I, I think you, I would put you in the more confident category. And you know, also the older you get, the less you care about stuff and you realize i mean no no wait a minute less you let less you care about what people think not less you care about yourself ex exactly no and that that's absolutely true because i don't particularly enjoy i don't particularly relish and i know people who do i don't particularly relish putting myself out there i don't particularly relish ex um, exposing my vulnerabilities I don't particularly li like the idea that at this point in my life, I'm starting a brand new right. career right. when people have known me for decades and go, wait, what, what? you doing what? what? Doing what? what? Yeah. But, uh, but you have to, and a big part of that is the age factor, which is to say that, you know, I love making new friends. I love being around new people and I, I, I love it. But if somebody doesn't want to be my friend or somebody doesn't care, it doesn't really matter. It's not yeah. going to change. It's not going to change my life. Right. 
I got 20 years left. What am I going to do with those? <laughs> yes, it's exactly right. And I wouldn't, I, if somebody doesn't want to be your friend, like you can't please everybody. You're not going to please everybody. Um, it's just like they're, they're offering you a script that it's not your, it's not your uh, cup of tea. And so you politely pass. That's all that is. It's the same thing. Yes. In this case, most of the scripts that I'm looking at are still online auditions as opposed to people reaching out to me. I'm looking forward to to the opportunity to be able to turn down scripts that are offered to me exclusively. Right. I, I make, I, I don't mean it this way, but I mean, if a script isn't right for me, I don't want to take it. I okay. look forward to the time when those primarily come when people are reaching out to me versus yes. me reaching out to them. It's a, it's a time game and the more videos you put out, but it's a long game. You got to look at it that way and that will happen. But in the meantime, uh, it, to, to, it, what you, what you really are doing by choosing and putting out videos that are things that you're interested in, what you want to do is illustrate the stuff you do like doing. And that's going to draw people that are interested in the same thing and let them know you're available for that. And then that's, that is going to bring you those, um, those types of projects. So hopefully you won't want to reject the ones that are coming to you. It's a, a you know, you're, you know, you're attracting yeah. and what a great thing. Yeah. It's like, remember, you know, talk about, think about, visualize, and, and you put it out into the universe. Well, this is really a tangible way to do that. If you want to do, if your dream is to do scripts about X, make videos about you talking about X and, and voicing yeah. over X, you know, whatever that is, that's, and it yeah. comes, it will come to you just keep going, yeah. keep making the videos that and share. Makes such good sense. It, it really, and I, and I, I know, you know, I try my best to illustrate that and tell the stories in the marketing course, but sometimes, you know, that's why I love having this conversation. I want to continue to do this with you and bring me more of the challenges, but I can see that you're, you're right at that precipice there. Uh, that's the next thing for you is, to, you know, f figuring out those topics and share and share and you'll get better. Hey, this is another thing too. Your third video as long as it's better than your second video, as far as editing, as far as quality, as far as the way you speak and stuff, you're moving in the right direction. I don't expect your first video to be that good. I expect mm -hmm. it to increase and get better because you learn every time. As long as you're going in the improving direction. Right. Uh, and when I say good, you don't, you don't think it's, you know, you're going to post it and it's going to have a bazillion views right away. It's not going to, that doesn't work that way. You're just right. putting out a message and you're slowly... You're going to get traffic and, and you, it's a long game. Understand that, but it's, it will work. It will bring the type of people. There's no better way for me to prove it, except that we're talking right now and people are watching this doing the exact same thing. It's, it works because that's how I, I could prove it by just saying that's how we met. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, race ipsi locator. The thing speaks for itself, right? I right. mean, you, it's true. It's absolutely true. That is how we, that is how I found you. That is how we created a, a business relationship as well as a personal relationship. You could do that 10,000 times a day, theoretically. And there's no reason why I can't do that too in my own areas of interest and expertise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do Dr. Lenny B. We're going to call <laughs> you that from now on because you're also a pretty good psych psychotherapist. I love chatting with Todd because I can see he's really he's really hungry for the marketing information um, that I'm sharing with him, and I feel like you know this information is these are lessons that I've learned. I failed a bunch of times and then got figured out how to do it, and like okay, this is working, and these are the things that I'm sharing. These are the um, the really the the pillars, the foundation of the modern synergy marketing training course. And I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, check it out. The bio course uh, is free, by the way. And it's kind of a precursor. It gives you an idea, a taste of my approach with branding and marketing for voiceover. I'm Lenny B, a voiceover audio engineer. I really want to help you get to that next level. I invite uh, questions if you have any about the marketing or about my conversation with Todd. Thanks for watching.